Hello, and welcome to the short board on the double parsha Matos and Masay dedicated to Eloi Nishmas Avi Mori Naftali Ben Yitzhak Isaac Zephonel of Rachel. Beginning of the parsha talks about Nadarim vows and, and not profaning uh, one person's mouth. And Perak Lamed Pasuk Gimel says, "Kahola Yesim Epivyase." According to whatever comes out from his mouth, he shall do. It's very important to be careful what you say. They, the two Devei Torahs will come from Rav Chaim Kanievsky on Chumash. And then he told the story about the Chavetz Chaim, Rabbi Yisrael Meir HaKohen, told his son-in-law, Rav Aaron HaKohen, why he was leaving, why he left the rabbinate in the town of Rad Radin. He said that the main reason was the following story. There was a butcher who was violating the rules and... He had to have the kosher certification taken away from him, and he lost his parnasa. After a few months, the butcher came to the Chavetz Chaim with a sincere repentance, pleading to have his job back, that he would behave properly. The Chavetz Chaim believed him. He created some uh, conditions to make sure that he would have to comply, but he also fined the butcher 40 boxes of candles to support the shul. Remember, electricity was not uh, everywhere in those days, so they used candles short time later, the butcher passed away, and a few days after that, the Chavetz Chaim was learning in the shul, and um, all of a sudden he got drowsy, and he fell asleep, and these three uh, men, as they appeared, uh, showed up in a dream, and they asked the Chavetz Chaim, when you gave this man the fine of uh, the 40 boxes of candles that he had to give, so was that meant to be as a punishment, um, and give Get you know, make him atone for his sins, or is that meant as a uh, a fine to make sure that he wouldn't do it again? So, the Chavetz Chaim responded, "To the best of my re recollection, it was meant to be a, a fine and not exculpatory. It wasn't to get him off the hook to get atonement." The men thanked him, and they woke up. A few minutes later, he fell asleep again, and this time the butcher came to him in anguish, and he said, "Rabbi, do you realize what you did to me? I was in." I was in the heavenly judgment, and when they got up to my sin about what I did as a butcher at that point, so um, the prosecutor uh, rejected my claim that I was already punished in this world. I shouldn't get, I had to pay the 40 uh, boxes of candles. But the the prosecuting angel said that, well, no, that was just a fine to make sure you wouldn't do it again. So then they came back to the Chavetz Chaim to ask him, what he thought, as I just told you before, and based on the Chavetz Chaim saying that it was meant to be a fine for the future and not exculpatory, uh, therefore he had to go and he was punished in the fires of Gehenna. After that, the Chavetz Chaim realized the power of what he had to say in his position as a rabbi, and he, he, that was a primary reason why he left being the rabbinate. Moving on into Masay, so in Perik Lamedal, Pasuk Vav, chapter 34, verse 6, Gvul Yam Vahayelachem, Ayamagadol, the western border in Eretz Israel, it should be for you the great sea. Uh, so even today, so it says that each of the borders of Eretz Israel is a water source. Source. David Amelach told us in the Hillim, Chavdal and Pasuk Beis, Ki hu ayamim yisadav al naharot sichonaneha, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Rashi there explains that this refers to the seven seas and four rivers that surround Eretz Israel. Now, that may not be today's border, but in different parts of uh, Nach, it, it says about Minahar Mitzrayim and Nahar Gadol Paras, from the river Mitzrayim to the great river in, in, in Euphrates, or elsewhere it talks about um, from the, the Red Sea to the Sea of the, of the Philistines, which is the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea, and from the wilderness to the river of the Euphrates. Um, so there were clearly borders that were based on the rivers. Rav Chaim cited a fascinating insight which we saw in Sefer Or Yakar by Rav Moshe Kodavero that since the Chachamim uh, had declared that the Eretz Amun, the lands of the nations, were to be Tamei, Hashem arranged that there be water sources on Eretz Israel's every border so that anyone entering it would easily be able to immerse himself and become purified. Hashem always plans for us. Be careful what you say. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.